Susie. Thank you for joining me for Flow to Joy. This is an all levels class that will leave you feeling alive, vibrant, and full of joy. All you need is yourself and your mat. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. in a comfortable seat, wherever you can sit comfortably with the crown of your head aligned over the base of your spine so that the spine is nice and tall. Hands to your thighs, close your eyes, and begin to connect with your breath. So I want to take a moment to just scan the body. And take an overall idea of how you are feeling today. What is the quality of your breath? What is the quality of your energy? And the quality of your thoughts? Without judgment, just noticing. And then bringing your hands into prayer at your heart and bowing your head to the light of your heart. Let's collectively set the intention together to cultivate a spirit of joy to fill up our heart space so that we can receive and give joy freely. Slowly release your hands to your thighs, blink your eyes open. We'll begin today's practice coming to stand. So find a stand, feet hip width and distance apart. We're going to begin with a powerful breath practice called Breath of Joy. And this breath practice kind of looks like a conductor leading an orchestra. The pattern is three breaths in and then a vigorous exhale out to release and let go. It looks like this. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. You can take this as slow or as quick as you would like. I like to really vigorously move my arms so that I have some momentum to release and let go on the exhale. Let's do about three more. Slowly roll up, come to standing, let the hands open wide in mountain pose and just pause and feel. Notice the tingling, the energy that you can feel surrounding you. Begin to notice any shifts already from that simple breath practice. And then blink your eyes open. Come into tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Draw three big circles to the right. Moving your torso forward. Sinking your hips back. And then three big circles to the left. And then release into child's pose, knees together or knees wide, forehead to the mat. Feeling this connection of the earth beneath your hands. Slowly make your way into downward facing dog. So maybe the first one of the day, pedal through the legs, wag your hips back and forth and side to side. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. And then look forward to the top of your mat. Walk, hop, or float it up. Inhale, final length. Exhale, fold in. Soften your knees. Rise up. Palms press. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Reach tall and then bend over to the right. Sweep back up to center. Left grabs right. Reach tall and over to the left. Back up to center, goal post the arms for a little standing back bend. Sweep your arms to the sky and exhale forward fold. Inhale flat back, 
step to high plank, shoulders over your wrists, strong in the belly. Drop your knees if you like, bend the elbows back all the way to your belly. Cobra, use your back to lift your heart. Roll it down, tuck your toes, hips to heels, child's pose. Back to downward facing dog. Full inhale and deep release, exhale. Look to the top of your mat, wall, hop, or float. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold deep. Soften your knees, rise up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Urdhva Hastasana, hands reach up, clasp the hands. Heels of the hands go up to the sky, behind your head as you feel a big stretch through the shoulders. Keep that clasp. Inhale, up, exhale, lean to the right. Stamp on the left foot. Inhale up, exhale, lean to the left, stamp on the right foot. Inhale, reach up, goal post the arms, standing back bend once again. Upright the spine, exhale, dive forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen out, high plank, step back. Option to drop the knees, lower chaturanga, up dog or cobra, expanding through your heart space. Hips go high, downward facing dog. Full inhale, maybe an audible exhale. One more that way. Look to the top of your mat, walk, hop, or float it up. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold in. Root to rise, palms press, and exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep up. Right hand taps the side body. The left arm goes up and over. Stamp on your left foot. Strong belly lifts you back to center. Second side, left hand grazes the left leg. Right arm reaches over to the left. Stamp on the right foot. Reach back up to the sky. Clasp your hands together behind you. Heels of the hands together, either away from the back body or if it's available down towards the earth. Standing back bend, hips over knees, over ankles, heart wide open. Reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length. High plank, step back. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Soften your knees. Walk your hands back to meet your feet at the back of your mat. Clasp the hands together behind you. If that's not available, you could grab onto a strap or a scarf, anything to extend that distance. Kneecaps up into the thighs, drop through the crown of your head. And then release the hands, soften your knees, walk it back out to your downward facing dog. Finding length in the side body. Right leg lifts up on an inhale. Knee to your nose, hug it in. Step between the hands, low lunge. Drop your back knee, release the top of the foot, and rise up. Sink your hips down and forward. If you have any dif difficulty with this left knee, you could tuck the edge of your mat under to give you a little bit of extra padding. That's always an option. Now reach the arms forward, turn the palms out. The right hand goes over the left. Reach the torso forward as you extend the fingertips forward, pressing the palms into one another. Inhale, rise up, fingertips towards the sky. Either head behind the arms or arms behind the head, depending on the flexibility and openness in your shoulders. Release the back toes, lift the left knee. Hands come behind you, right thumb on top. Inhale, open and expand. Exhale, come forward, diving lunge. Reach the heart forward, reach through the crown of your head. Rise back up, arms to the sky. Hands to your heart for prayer twist. Left elbow down, right elbow up. You can always drop the back knee for extra support. Work those thumbs to heart center. Press into the front heel, rise up, warrior two. Arms to the letter T, active in the outer edge of the left foot. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, big side bend. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose. 
hinge at your hips, right hand comes to the thigh or your shin, a brick if you'd like that, left arm reaches up to the sky. Bend into the front knee, come into Parjva Konasana, right forearm to the top of the thigh, left arm circles and comes long by your ear, hug the right shoulder down your back, be strong in the back leg. Rise back up, warrior two. Wiggle, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, high plank. Lower chaturanga, your variation of choice. Upward facing dog or cobra. Back to downward facing dog. Full inhale. Let it go, exhale. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Give it a little smooch as you step through your low lunge. Drop the right knee, release the top of the foot, and rise up. So big stretch in the front of the right hip flexor. And then reach your arms forward, palms out, left hand on top this time. Pitch the heart forward, reach your fingertips forward, long in your side waist. Upright the torso, arms in front of head or behind head, so you intensify that opening in your shoulders. Tuck the back toes, lift the right knee, release the hands behind you, left thumb on top, away from the back body, or down the inseam of the right thigh, pending what's available to you. And then keep the bind, pitch the heart forward, long through the crown of your head. Rise back up, sweep the arms to the sky, Hands to your heart prayer twist. Right elbow down, left elbow up. Press those thumbs towards your heart center to encourage even more twist through the torso. Warrior two, windmilling up and around, arms to the letter T. Reverse warrior, side bend. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Hinge at your hips, enjoy that journey there. Stacking the arms to 6 and 12, feeling long in the side waist. Extended side angle, bend through the left knee, the left forearm comes to the thigh, right arm circles long by your ear, palm down, a diagonal of the energy from the back heel up to your fingertips. Rise back up, reverse warrior, windmill frame and tuck your back toes, high plank. Lower chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale back, downward facing dog. Full inhale, and deep exhale. Look to the top of your mat, walk, hop, or float it up to the top. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold in. Soften your knees, rise up and back. And exhale, hands to your heart. Full inhale. And deep exhale. Coming into a little bit of balancing, take the feet hip within distance apart and soften your knees. The right leg crosses over the left. Garudasana eagle. Toes can tap or double wrap. Arms to the letter T. Right arm underneath left. Give yourself a big bear hug. You could stay right here or release until the palms touch. Bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Press your palms away from your face. Find that eagle eye focus, gazing just beyond your fingertips. Take one more breath cycle here. And we'll move into Nadara Jasna. So nice, focused, and controlled. Unwind. Right hand grabs the inside of the back foot. Left arm reaches out in opposition. You could stay right here. If it's available, soften the left knee. Kick back with the same intensity that you reach forward and tune into the expansion in your heart space. Imagine the freedom of a dancer having her or his shining moment. And then slowly release. Standing back bend, rise up, goal post the arms, expand through the heart chest. Reach back up, soften your knees, clasp and release, forward fold, chin to chest. Ardha Uttanasana, flat back, vinyasa if you like, high to low plank. Inhaling up, 
exhaling back. So beginning to feel a little more embodied, a bit more awake and open. Look to the top of your mat, walk, hop, or float it up. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, fold in, soften the knees, rise up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Second side, feet hip width and distance apart, cross left leg over right for Garudasana Eagle. Tap the toes or double wrap. Each side's a little different. Arms to the letter T, left arm under right, bear hug or wrap to cross. Again, elbows in line with your shoulders, palms press away from your face. Gaze beyond those fingertips to find your eagle eyed focus. This becomes dancer. Unwind, left hand grabs the left foot. Right arm reaches out in opposition. You could stay right here or soften the right knee. Kick back with the same intensity that you reach forward. Bring your awareness to your heart space. See it shooting out light and love. Feel the joy coming in and going out. And then slowly release. Inhale up. Soften the knees. Exhale, fold, clasp the hands. Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Step back to high plank. Lower Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog, full inhale, and deep exhale. We're going to put that whole thing together now. Right leg lifts up, inhale, exhale, slowly step through, low lunge, rise up. Arms forward, right arm on top, reach the heart forward. Upright the chest, open your shoulders. Tuck toes, lift knee, clasp the hands, inhale, open, expand. Exhale, dive forward any amount, hugging to the midline. Rise up, palms press, hands to your heart, prayer twist. Left elbow down, right elbow up, prayer hands, or part the arms. Warrior two, windmill up and around. Reverse warrior. Triangle pose, straighten and extend. Parjvokanasana, forearm down or hand to the inside. Rise back up, reverse warrior. Windmill frame and tuck your back toes. Slowly step up to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Soften your knees, rise up. Hands to your heart. Right leg over the left. Double wrap, maybe. Right arm underneath left. Elbows up, palms away. Sink low. Upright the chest for Nadarajasana. Unwind, left arm forward, right leg back. Expand open. Slowly release, inhale up. Soften the knees, clasp, release, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Your favorite vinyasa or skip it, meet in down dog. You could also hold high plank here and come into downward facing dog. Left leg lifts high, inhale. Step through, low lunge, rise up. Arms forward, left hand on top, palms facing one another. Upright the chest, open through your shoulders. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, left thumb on top. Inhale, open away from the back body or down the inseam. Dive forward, hug to the midline, release. Rise back up, palms press, prayer twist, hands to your heart. Right elbow down, left elbow up, maybe parting the arms. Rise up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Straighten the leg, triangle pose, hinge and stack. Extended side angle, bend into the front knee, right arm long by your ear. Reverse warrior up and back. Windmill frame, tuck your back toes. Top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise up. Hands to your heart, left leg over the right, Garudasana. Left arm underneath right, elbows up, palms away, sink low. Coming into dancer, unwind, find that expansion in the heart space, and then release. Arms up, standing back bend, soften the knees, clasp, release, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Step back to high plank. Holding here in high plank, shoulders over wrists, engaging low belly. Slowly coming all the way down to your belly. You could slow it down or drop the knees and reverse roll all the way down to the belly. Locust pose. Hands by your sides, palms pointed up. Relax the shoulders down your back. Exhale, breathe all your air out. Inhale, lift everything up. Palms facing towards the sky, fingertips moving towards the back wall. Feel the strength in your back body as it lifts up the heart space. Get long through the crown of your head, reach through your toes, and then maybe come up even a little bit higher. Hands underneath your shoulders. Cobra, use your back to lift your heart. And then roll down. Tuck your toes, hips to heels. Child's pose. Coming on to your seat. Ardhamatsi Andrasana. Cross the right leg under you, the left leg over top. If this is uncomfortable or feels kind of tight, you can extend the right leg straight. Left hand behind you, right arm reaches towards the sky. Hook it behind your knee. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, find a twist. Ground into the left sit bone. Hug the shoulder blades down your back, and reach tall through the crown of your head. Last big breath. Slowly unwind, counter twist to the right, palms touch or maybe even bow down, and then rise up. Cross the legs the other way, right leg over top, left leg crossed under, you can always extend that bottom leg straight. Right hand behind you, left arm to the sky, hook it behind your knee. Inhale, reach tall, exhale, big twist. Ground into that right sit bone as you reach tall through the crown of your head. Head and neck are the last thing to turn, so really imagine this spiral moving around the waist, around the heart space. And then release, counter twist, palms down, or maybe even a little bow. Come back to center, unwind the legs, soles of your feet to the earth. Gently, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Take your hands by your sides for bridge. Press into your hands, press into your feet, lift the hips up towards the sky. You could clasp onto the edge of your mat here, pressing that towards your feet. If it's available, clasp the shoulder or the hands underneath you, roll the shoulder blades together to get even more expansion in the space of your heart. Stretching from your hip points to your knees, squeeze your glutes to lift a little bit higher. Curl the corners of your mouth into a smile. We're going to stay for three more breaths. If you're a wheeler and you want to go up into it, fingertips pointed towards your shoulders, pop onto the top of your head, and then all the way up. Shoulders over your wrists, expanding through the heart, grounding into your feet for three, for two. Last big breath. Chin to your chest, slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Let the knees rock side to side, head turning the opposite direction. If there's any last thing your body is asking you for, please take it. Otherwise, Shavasana. Feet fall open to either side, palms open up towards the sky. Let your breath come from the tips of your toes up your body to the crown of your head. And then like a wave traveling from the crown of your head 
down your body to your toes. Imagine these ripples and waves of joy tracking up and down your body, lighting up different places, bringing space to stuck places. Expanding your heart wide open. Take these last few moments with a smile on your face, letting that vibration move through your whole body. Stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, you'll slowly transition to your side. And then all the way up to a seat. Wanted to share one of my favorite quotes with you today. It's from Thich Nhat Hanh. And he says, Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. So take that smile with you today and let it create ripples of joy throughout you, your family, your community, everyone you interact with. Namaste.